What I would like to do today is to give you an insight uh, about our XTR bags and uh, some features of the bag. The bag is going to install in a stainless steel vessel. The vessel supports this bag, but uh, some, uh, the main features are based on the design of the single-use bag itself. And uh, you can see there are a lot of tubings there. Uh, you have tubings for air sparging, you have the connectors for single-use pH and DO probes. The most important thing for a bioreactor is the steerer. Uh, the steerer is a pattern by GE and it's designed to allow a smooth and gentle mixing with a low shear rate for your cell culture systems. So the smallest one we have is the XDR10. The XDR10 system will be our small scale model. So we have really a nice opportunity to have a, a smooth scale up from 10 liter to 50 liter uh, to 200 liters in next size, then 500, 1000 and 2000 liters. And currently is a maximum uh, system size, bag size for our cell culture systems. Or for the moment, we have the 50 liter is available as a, as a dual purpose system. So it's up to you. If you have the need for a cell culture system, then you can buy it as a cell culture system standalone. Or if you have a need, especially for some CMOs, they're working in the field of cell culture and as well in the field of microbial fermentation, then they can use one stainless steel system and use or depending on the type of bag, they can run a cell culture or they can, can run a fermentation. That's the 50 liter system. And the 50 liter system is also our small scale system for the full scale fermentation. So the biggest available fermentation, single use fermentation system on the market is the XDR 500 MO microbial system. It's a pretty new, brand new system and this covers all the special needs of fermentation. So we have an extreme high cooling capacity and also the one VVM gas flow rate you need for the sufficient oxygen transfer rate that's captured in this system.